So we all know how bad I am at these online brain quizzes. Well, uh, Brain Go 3 just came out. So here we go again. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Brain Go 3. The game literally just came out a couple days ago. Let's jump right in. Okay, level one. Which one is more colorful? Uh, well, there's like a little hand pointing towards the chameleon. I don't know if this is like a freebie because it's level one or if they're trying to trick me. I'm going to go with the chameleon. Final answer. Okay. All right. So the first one was a freebie. Chameleons can change millions of colors. Can they really change to millions of colors? I don't know. Let's move on. What year is it? Uh, it it's 2021. How? Oh, uh, was that it? Am I right? Is that? No. Is this? No. Uh. Um, oh, let me get rid of that. Okay, <laughs> that was stupid. You know what? That was stupid. Have you ever stocked up on toilet paper in 2020? Yes, I did. I actually went to Costco right before the pandemic, and I got like 96 rolls of toilet paper. Out of toilet paper. I mean, <laughs> you think the kid should have realized that before he started pooping? Like, hey, let me look at the toilet paper. Let's see if there's anything there. And if not, let's go to Costco and get 96 rolls. All right, uh... I mean, I guess you could kind of use the toilet paper roll, but that would really be disgusting, and you probably couldn't even put it down the toilet. All right, this video is getting really disgusting. If you guys want to see more Brain Go on this channel, don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe. What if he uses the paper on the wall? Aha! Oh, God, I do not like the face he is making. This is disgusting. Okay, Brain Go 1 and 2 were lovely. They were wonderful games. The developers of Brain Go 3 really, uh, really stepped things up a notch. Level 8, how many ice cream cones are there? Okay, this seems more like a Brain Go question. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, so there's six cones. I have a feeling this is probably going to be wrong. Of course it is. Oh, wait, wait, look at the second cone. There, yeah, okay, okay. So maybe it's seven. Please tell me it's, what? Okay, well, now I'm just confused. All right, we got one. We got two, three, four, five. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight. If the answer is not eight, I am going to eat my left pinky. I really don't want to eat my left pinky. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I got scared there for a second. Which pig is the lightest? Um, I have a feeling this is a trick question because, um, Elmer the pig over here is clearly the lightest. Although, okay, I didn't mean to click on him. Is there a pig behind one of the big pigs? There's gotta be a fat pig. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, it, it, there's a little tiny pig that weighs six kilograms. Oh, there's actually... Okay, how many babies is this pig gonna have? Okay, it, it's the smallest one. It was four kilograms. How to cross the river. What if this lady fills the river in this bucket? Okay, now what if she steps on a rock? What if I just throw... Okay, now the lady's getting naked. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Press all the teeth. Do I just... One by one? Two, three, four... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so let's see if we can prop his mouth open. So what if we put a Lego in there? And then do it? Maybe then he won't be able to close his mouth. Okay, help him pass the exam. Well, it looks like this girl studied, and she's ready for this test, and this kid looks like he stayed up all night playing Call of Duty and has no idea what uh, what subject he's even practicing. Like, he came for English, it's actually math. Something tells me he's gonna cheat off the girl's paper. Oh, gosh, okay. I think that kid has more problems than just failing a math test. Like, you know, maybe why he's missing all of his neck muscles find the hidden things okay so the first one looks like a half eaten piece of pizza uh, uh oh right there right there okay the next one is a rubber duck named jim i found him right there the next one's like a little blue fish oh right there this is easy man usually i stink at these ones the next one looks like some sort of a roach or a salamander or a salamander roach i have no idea what it is but it looks like it's uh oh i'm struggling with this one. Oh, i found the fish i found the last one okay i gotta find this roach salamander guy but i have a feeling it's gonna take me a while three days later oh found him it's the cat's tail well i guess it's not the cat's tail it was the roach salamander but it looked like the catch tail yes i think i just said catch tail i don't know level 17 turn down the volume Oh, but look, they flipped it. Look at that. They flipped it. They're trying to trick me. I'm not that dumb. Well, I probably am that dumb, but not this time. So let's turn it up. 
And I, t okay, perfect. Not gonna get me that easy. They are starting to get a little bit harder though. I think the first like 10 questions were just kind of practice. Stop the bully. Uh, what if I remove the guy's fist? Wow! Nope. Oh, I re- <laughs> Darn it, I really thought I had it right. Okay, uh, what if I eat the guy's fist? Nope. Uh, what if I- I, I, I don't know what to do. What if I punch the bully in the head with his own fist? No. Uh, it's gotta be something with his hand. I feel like I'm on the right- Oh, I flipped their hands. Okay, well now- now I'm the bully, so I mean, technically I didn't stop- Well, I guess I stopped the bully. I didn't stop- the bullying from happening. The day before yesterday was Saturday. What day is tomorrow? Okay, my brain already hurts. So let's think about this methodically. Yesterday was Saturday. That means today was Sunday, which means the day before. So it's Monday. Wait, uh, I think Monday? I think it's- Oh my gosh, this is making fun of me. But it's a lot harder to think on your feet while there's a camera in your face and these bright lights. I'm also just making excuses. The day before yesterday was Saturday. What day? Oh, what day is tomorrow? So Tuesday. Yes! Okay, you know what? I just didn't read the question, which is probably even more embarrassing. I don't know, but I, I got it right on my second try. Level 20, help him. I don't know, why doesn't he just go pee? Oh, uh, there's a bathroom back here. Oh, but the bathrooms are locked. Well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have him pee on a tree, like some sort of a dog. He's he literally, okay. Oh, wow, there's a dog. Did I really help him? I mean, this this man is still being chased by a dog, by the way. Like, right now, he's off the screen. He's somewhere in, in Alabama, still being chased by Sparky the dog. And now he's got to pee again, because he's ran so long. Help her. Okay, well, well, uh, do we mean she as in the girl in the pink dress or the dog? Because that might be a female dog. We don't know which one they're talking about. I'm going to help the dog. So I'm going to take the bone and throw it, because the dog wants to play fetch. Okay, no, that was wrong. Uh, what if we- oh, what if we replace the knife with the bone? No, um, what if we just ask the guy to- to walk away nicely? Maybe he's offering her a- a steak knife. Like, like she ran out of steak knives at home, she was making steak, needed to cut something, and he came knocking at her door and is offering her a steak knife. That- I think that's what's going on right here. She's actually not in trouble at all. Am I really gonna have to use a hint? Uh, I feel like I'm gonna need to use a hint. I literally have no idea what to do here. Move the bone to the gangster. Okay, I literally tried that. That was literally the first thing I tried to do, other than play fetch with the dog and say that he was offering her the steak knives, all that nonsense. So what if I just give him the bone? I feel like I literally tried that. Finish the picture. Why does this pear look like it's got butt cheeks? Why does this pair look like it's got bud cheeks? I feel like this is about to be a very inappropriate level, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Oh my gosh. We've got a pair wearing a bathing suit. Okay, let's move on. Uh, here we go again with the steak knives salesman. Yeah, again, I don't think anything's wrong here. The woman's making chicken today, and, and it's not steak knives. What if we throw this rock at the guy's head, give him a concussion? No. What if we just kindly ask for the knife? Like, hey, sir. I'm making steak tomorrow. Can I borrow your steak knife? No, okay, I guess we're done with the steak knife. What if we make it rain? This cloud above him looks awful dark, and I could combine hers. Oh, gosh. Okay, I didn't want to kill the guy. I just wanted to take his steak knife. Which color appears the most in the picture? White. Yeah! I'm proud of myself. I didn't even think about that one. Well, I did think about it, but I'm sure you're not colorblind. I'm not colorblind. I'm just not dumb. It takes four minutes to boil an egg. How many minutes does it take to boil three eggs? Probably still four minutes, because you could put all of them in the same pot at the same time. Yes, okay. <laughs> all right, I'm getting the hang of this. The questions have gotten harder, but I've gotten smarter. Where did the fish go? Probably in the cat's mouth, unless that's a whisker. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to name that cat Roxy, because I have a cat named Roxy, and it's the only... Cat name I could think of. Stop the baby from crying. Um, what if I, what if I turn the baby upside down and then the tears will go up? Nope, that was the stupidest thing I've ever thought of in my life. Uh, can I, can I shake the baby? Can I cradle the baby? That was, that was the answer in, in a different game that I played once. Okay, what if I make the baby bigger, smaller? Oh, wait, what if I, well, I already turned it upside down, but maybe that would make the baby smile because its frown would be turned upside down. 
So if any of you guys are parents out there and your baby's crying, just turn them upside down for 10 seconds. That'll make them smile. Don't actually do that. You're probably gonna, you're gonna get in trouble if you do that. Find all the apples. There are six of them. Okay, one. Oh, I did. <laughs> that's not fair, man. That, that's not fair, man. I think there was one here. I think there was one here. Ah, that's an eggplant, Brandon. Okay, let's think about this methodically. So we got one, two, three. That's easy. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bam! Well, if you just told me the rules of the game, I would have gotten it right the first time. Cover the red circle with the rag. Uh, something tells me it's probably not going to be enough. What if I make the rag bigger? I'm trying to... Oh, what? Oh, I... Okay, I think I covered the words red circle in the question a little bit of a load of barnacles, but I'm not going to complain. Finish the fruit math equation. You guys know how bad I am at these fruit math equations. Okay, so we've got apple plus apple plus apple equals 30. That means each apple should equal 10. The next one is 10 plus 3 plus 3, which means the bananas should be 3. So then we've got 10. Oh, but there's only two bananas. So 12? I think it's 12. I don't know, there, there's probably steam coming out of my ears if I took my headphones off. That's how hard I'm thinking right now. Okay, no steam. Right here? Nope, also no steam. This better be 12. This better be 12. Yes! I am a math genius! Only when it comes to fruit math, though. I will be back for more of this game. Don't forget to hit that subscriber button and check out my other YouTube channel, guys. It's called TFG Vlogs. Go to that channel and subscribe. And I will see all of you in the next video.